Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. It's Tuesday, May 16th, 2023. And we begin with a 17-year-old female track star in Oregon having a hard time finding tough enough competition. So the high schooler is now competing against boys and often winning. Mia Brahe Pedersen took part in a rare mixed-gender 100-meter race created just for her earlier this month at the Summit Invitational in Bend. And she beat all her competitors, including her friend and prom date, Ethan Park. He told the Wall Street Journal, It was a really cool special moment to see her beat everybody. Mia finished with a personal best 11.08 seconds, making her the third fastest U.S. high school girl of all time, according to Track and Field News. And she's not resting on her laurels. Mia has her sights set on beating that national high school record and then trying out for next year's Olympics, adding, you can't really get better competition than that. 12 million people have been sweltering under a heat advisory in the Pacific Northwest since Saturday, but could finally get some relief today. The National Weather Service issued the advisory for much of the western parts of Oregon and Washington state, warning temps in the 90s could raise the risk of heat-related illness, especially for those who are dehydrated or don't have effective cooling. In King County, Washington, where Seattle is located, public transportation operators, like bus drivers, were told to let people ride for free if they were heading to a cooling center. And after a very serious heat wave two years ago, the state of Oregon passed a law requiring all new housing built after April 2024 must have air conditioning installed in at least one room. Dogs may be man's best friend, but sometimes they can also be a lifesaver. That was the case for a two-year-old Australian Labradoodle named Charlie in Clovis, California. At 2.45 in the morning, about two weeks ago, he kept barking and barking, finally waking up his human, Chad McCollum, who let him outside. But Charlie wouldn't stop barking at one corner of the yard. When Chad went to investigate, he tells the Washington Post that he saw an orange glow and plumes of smoke two streets away, immediately thinking, oh, that's not right. An RV was on fire and flames were spreading to two nearby homes. Chad ran over just as fire trucks arrived to wake up the people living there who got out just in time. The families were so grateful they delivered a basket of treats and bones for Charlie, who was also named a junior firefighter by the Clovis Fire Department, complete with a red fire hat and a homemade medal that says Hero on it. In other Kid News notes, Twitter has a new chief executive officer. Owner Elon Musk has chosen Linda Yaccarino, who had been the head of advertising sales at NBC Universal, to replace him as CEO. The billionaire will still be involved in the social media platform. He's announced he'll focus on product design and new technology, while Ms. Yaccarino will primarily be in charge of the business side, which has struggled since Mr. Musk took over last fall. Her experience and connections in the advertising world are seen as a positive move for Twitter. A new forever stamp has been released by the U.S. Postal Service featuring the face of Chief Standing Bear. The former head of the Ponca tribe became a civil rights icon after the Army forced him and 700 members of his tribe to leave their homeland in northeast Nebraska. The chief won a lawsuit in 1879 that established a Native American as a person under U.S. law with an inherent right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. A tiny octopus about the size of a golf ball caused a lot of excitement at a beach down under over the weekend. The little blue-ringed octopus, as it's known, was spotted by a group of hikers at Clontarf Beach in Sydney, Australia, which is a popular spot for families on the weekend. Yahoo News Australia reports this is the second blue-ringed octopus seen at that location in the past couple of months. Bites by these eight-legged mollusks are rare and seldom break the skin, but their venom is known to be a thousand times more powerful than cyanide on humans. To learn more amazing facts about octopuses, check out the latest episode on another cool podcast for curious kids called Who Smarted. It's available on Apple, Spotify, Google, or wherever you get your podcasts. For more information, go to their website, whosmarted.com. That's it for Kid News. Now, the Kid News Quiz. How quickly did a female high school track star run the 100 meters?
11.08 seconds. What social media platform has a new CEO? Twitter. Who is on the new Forever stamp just released by the U.S. Postal Service? Chief Standing Bear. What's the name of the dog that woke up his human to let him know about a nearby fire? Charlie. In our Kid News Kicker, Charlie certainly deserves to be spoiled, but it turns out that many dogs are living the good life, with a new survey revealing which dog breeds are America's most spoiled. Of the 2,000 dog owners who were asked, the poll found that people who have a herding dog, like an Australian Shepherd, a Border Collie, or a Corgi, topped the list. Coming in second place were non-sporting dogs like Bulldogs and Shiba Inus, and in third place, Terriers, including Russell and Scottish Terriers. The spoiling criteria included talking to their dogs as if they were human and treating their pets to meals prepared by hand in the kitchen. The survey was done by a pet food company called Solid Gold. Before we go, we want to shout out some of our terrific Kid News Teacher Advisory Panel members to thank them for their amazing support and guidance this school year. Mr. Scott at Smith Elementary in Sammamish, Washington. Mrs. Campbell at St. Stephen's School in Kingsville, Maryland. Mrs. Davis Palmer at Pulaski Elementary School in Savannah, Georgia. And Mrs. Salava at Eagle Point Elementary in District 622 in Minnesota. Thanks for listening. Please consider a tax-deductible donation to our podcast. Just go to our website, kidnews.org. We hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.